Today, the Supreme Court overwhelmingly decided people with domestic violence restraining orders against them cannot own a gun, and in doing so, sent a clear message to women like Lachey Krechan. They listen to survivors. They listen to us. <laughs> because it's not a day, a minute, or a second that we don't think about it and we don't feel the pain. Her ex-boyfriend shot her five times in 1996. All five bullets are still in her body. She says she wishes she got a restraining order against him at the time. In today's eight to one opinion, Chief Justice John Roberts writes the laws in question confirm what common sense suggests. When an individual poses a clear threat of physical violence to another, the threatening individual may be disarmed. Justice Amy Coney Barrett wrote the concurring opinion saying the Second Amendment is not absolute. She's right. We limit weapons. There are weapons that exist today that did not exist some 100, 200 years ago that have limitations on them. In his dissent, Justice Clarence Thomas sided with Rahimi's argument that he could not be disarmed because only gun laws rooted in the nation's founding history and tradition can comply with the Second Amendment. When you look at the statistics of women who have been killed by their partners, the numbers are alarming. An abused woman is five times more likely to die from a domestic abuse situation if a gun is involved. President Biden applauded today's ruling, saying it allows families to count on critical protections as they have for the past three decades. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.